everybody, I'm USA Today bestselling author Hildy McQueen and I write hit medieval Highlander romance. I am going to be doing a spread in my happy planner and I thought while I do that we can kind of catch up a little bit. I know that I have been kind of sporadic in my postings and mainly I have no excuse for it. <laughs> I really don't. I just have been kind of taking it easy this last couple of months and I am enjoying it and I am not guilting myself over it so yeah that's it okay so as you may or may not know I belong to a planner group the huge planner group and um every week or every month we post a challenge for the month and every week is a different theme that we can use for planning our uh, week out. And this week, our plan is, our challenge is to do something in blue and yellow. So, I kind of like this. So let's see what I can come up with using these stickers. I'm kind of leaning towards doing a nautical beachy theme, only because it's like the end of summer. So I thought... I would use these stickers. This is a sticker book from Anika's Creative Closet. She has the most beautiful sticker books. I will put her link down below. You guys, I mean, this is the summer adventure. And right now it's the only sticker book I have of hers. But look at these graphics. And let me show you towards the back. She has functional boxes and then she has... Um, these beautiful stickers on clear paper and then she also has some on matte paper so I mean and you can only imagine what the other ones are like but so I am thinking of doing one last summer spread maybe so these are really pretty it's kind of like a nautical theme I thought it would be fun uh, so then to add the yellow I was going to kind of use a yellow um, girl sticker and then yellow boxes so let's see how that turns out. Now these sailboats are on matte paper. So let's see. I've never done a nautical theme like this before. I think I'm gonna put it off to the bottom like this, maybe. Yeah. It's kinda cool to have these matte ones so I don't have to white out the lines underneath. And then we have this other boat here that's a little bit smaller that I will put here. Uh, let's do this. Okay. I also want to use uh, the Yorkie is in here with me and of course he's scratching at the bowl even though I just gave him some treats thinking oh I'll give him treats before I start filming and that way he will uh, leave me alone while I film and what's he doing he's asking for more no Harley you already got two that trick is not gonna work this time so since the boats are down here maybe somebody can be up here at the beach away from the boats <laughs> I don't know and let's see I want there was a little chair somewhere this one maybe put it oh maybe this I'll use the surf the surfboard has a lot of red but then this has a little bit of red also uh, there's the same graphic but I don't like repeating there's this chair how about I use Mm. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use this one. It's a little bit of a third color, but that's okay. And I'm just going to put this one over here. Okay, so that is so far the base. Then I need some boxes. And I have to find, I saw yellow boxes, I think, in this book here. This is from Amber Plants Her Day. And I thought I saw yellow boxes here. Yes, I did. 
Ooh, well, this is a very neon yellow, isn't it? But that's okay, it's yellow. Let me see if there's another yellow. I don't think there's another yellow. I think that was the only yellow in here. I'm gonna pull the boxes and this box so far. Let's see, I think I'm gonna make a little cluster. So let's put this one here. Oh God, it wants to stick itself down. Okay. So yeah, I mean, other than that, what have I been doing? I am, I've been continuing with my walking that I am so impressed with myself. I started walking a little over a year ago. My friend and I meet on three times a week to go walking and it has really, really helped um, with my, with my uh, feeling better, you know, um, just when I go places and I can just walk a little bit without losing my breath and I've lost a little bit of weight. And so that's always good. Um, right now I'm also doing some preparations for um, my next trip, which will be two. Well, I got two trips coming up. In September, next month, I'm going to the Tampa Bay St. Pete area for NINC. <clears throat> and I am C NINC, which is a how do you say it? It's it's a conference for writers, and we are going to be doing, let's see, I'm saying we because there's a few of us that are going, there's four of us, yes, four of us that are going that do the usual Zoom calls, accountability, accountability. Let me start all over. I have a group of author friends, and we do accountability calls twice a month. And we get to see each other in person at this conference called NINC, which is a novelist um, gathering, I guess I could say. And so we will be seeing each other this September. So I don't really have to do much to prepare for that. I think uh, mostly just get making sure that I sign up for any things we need to sign up for and look, look over the agenda that kind of stuff so um let's see and then um i already have we already have our reservations and yeah just planning the drive when we're driving up and that kind of stuff so looking forward to that and then on um in october I am having, we are my planning group, the same group that I do these challenges with, they're, we're planning a big, and I mean a hundred and some people, planning event that we're kind of in the throes of putting the last minute things together for. So that is, and then in November, I'm going to Chicago for another planning event. So as you can see, Oh, this is also by Anika's Creative Closet, and it is the Summer Fashion Vibes. And most of the dolls are black girls, so that's... Uh, oh, they're going to have, you know, a very nice deep tan. <laughs> oh, this one might be pretty here. Yeah, so that's uh, my plans that I'm in the throws, and also putting together swag for different events. So that's kind of taking time also from my schedule. Uh, that's just where I'm yellow and blue almost. I'm trying to decide where I want to put my doll. I think here because there's a big empty space, so she might be perfect for that. I'm still gonna look a little bit longer to see if I see a girl dressed in yellow. I was thinking a yellow dress, but. So far, I think she might be the best one. This one kind of looks like she's at the beach and she has yellow pants. Yeah, so, oh, what about her? I think I'm gonna go with her. Oh, and then there's a couple of uh, other events I'm also attending where I am 
providing not I'm not attending but I'm providing um swag for so I'm getting that stuff together so yeah you know it's it's just fills up your um fills up your day when you have stuff like that going on and getting to um prepared for things and so it's just making a and plus of course I do need to write some books because you know I need to kind of make a living so that's um another thing that I kind of been planning my books as far as what I'm going to be publishing towards the end of the year. I have a book coming out in September called The Raven. And then I'm writing another book for um, in to release towards the end of the year, which will be called The Falcon. And it'll be the last book in the Clan Ross of, of Sky series. It's going to be a quartet. Okay. I don't know, I feel like something, it needs a little more shushing up, but you know, I saw seashells somewhere, didn't I? Maybe I can add some seashells, these guys, but I mm, don't know. Just feels like I need something else. Or maybe I don't wanna overdo it. Maybe some lines, let me see, where's my line maker? I find my line stencil and it's gonna be a miracle because because I have a mess I cleaned up my office actually but I don't know what I put the line stencil I really want it though I don't want to make them on my own because I know I'll mess it up it okay so I'm gonna add some lines down here okay if you can hear my husband talking he's fussing at one of the dogs because that's how he rolls there and then maybe some lines here yeah so I'm pretty busy I guess and uh, I also want to do a couple more uh, videos for this channel I have some ideas I want to do um Oh, and I did film, yeah, I think I already uploaded the one for my writing plan and that writing plan. I don't know if I'll keep doing those except to show you how I plan my week, but I haven't <laughs> done anything that I write down that I need to do, which is like, uh, I mean, some of the things, but as far as my writing, I haven't been quite doing that like I should. So this stencil is from the Happy Planner, by the way, if you're wondering... But I do have quite a few things going on this week that um need to get done. So I made some, there, that kind of helps fill it up a little bit. All right. So I did make some words, print out, print and cut some things that I know are going on. So for Tuesday, tomorrow, I have a chiropractor appointment at 10 o'clock in the morning. I can get the word up okay let's see so that's Tuesday I'm just gonna go ahead and put it I'll put it here Do I wanna? Uh, I'll go ahead and put it here and then I have a hair appointment on Wednesday at nine o'clock in the morning so I'll go ahead and put that there the 20th is Chuck's and Pearl's day I'll put that there. I wish I had some little string of pearls or something. 
and I have a, a women's event at my church on Friday night. When is the 23rd? Yeah, that's Friday night. Friday night, I have an event at my church. I think it's at 6.30. It's kind of like a gathering for fun, fellowship, that kind of thing. I normally don't go to things because I, I'm lazy in the evenings, but I'm going to be nice and attend this time. <laughs> on, on Saturday, I have a planner meetup. A crafting. It's going to be more like crafting. And then I have a... My book club is meeting on Saturday evening. And I have a um, church service on Sunday where I'm also going to be the info desk, welcome desk person. I, don't, I call it info desk, but I guess it could be, it's more like an info and welcome desk. And my dog is doing the hairball thing. It's just in a lovely <clears throat> sound effect. You're welcome. Okay, let's put it in the planner and see how this beauty looks. I think it'll look nicer once it's all filled up with everything that I'm planning. It'll look nice. I like the spread. I don't know. It's not as full as I normally do, but I think it's turning out cute. Let's go ahead and put that in here. And... <clears throat> So you guys can see what you think. I will put the links down below for Anika's creative closet. I will put the links down below for Amber Plants Her Day. Uh, the Happy Planner is only the happyplanner.com. And if you want to get this um, stencil, I don't even know if you can see it. It's so clear. And then um, what pen am I using? I'm using the Zebra Sarasa Markon pen. And I guess that's all the products. And um, the planner is the Happy Planner. This one with the oranges on it. It's super pretty. And I added my own metal discs to it because it came with green discs. It was still pretty with the green discs. So. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.